Travel Advisors. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Funrise TV with your carnival host, Mark Richards. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Funrise TV. I'm incredibly excited to be able to host today um, the first of what we hope to be many segments that are designed to keep you informed, up to date on everything that's happening in the next few months, which we're incredibly excited about. Now, um, as we've had a few people starting to join us, we are streaming this um, like we did last time. We are streaming this live in two different spots. So the first spot being um, on our YouTube channel, uh, and we also have this streaming in Carnival Fun Zone, which is our trade-dedicated Facebook channel. So if you if you would like to make any comments along the way, please feel free to add any comments to the, um, the comments section in either one of those. Um, I will be able to see them. They will pop up and we will have our little Q&A at the end of the session. However, we know that everyone is incredibly busy at the moment, uh, which is which is so great to see. So if you ha don't have a chance to watch this live, that's okay. We've set it up so that you can watch it um, at another time or later in the day if you get a chance to. Um, but feel free to add any comments and we will continually answer them for you if you have any questions that pop up as we kind of go. So, Again, very excited to be able to start um, our first Funrise TV. And we thought we'd, we'd launch it with a very special guest uh, today, um, which which I'm, I'm honoured to be able to introduce and to have a talk to. So we, I'd like, I'm going to bring in in a sec, I'm going to bring in Cara Glamour, who's our Vice President of uh, Carnival Cruise Line here in Australia. And we want to get to know her a little bit more, find out a few things that are happening within the business. And with that, um, without further ado, I'd love to welcome in Cara. Hi, Mark. How are you? Welcome, Cara. How are you today? I am so glad to be here for this uh, first sunrise. Funrise, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's, a, that's, where, that's where we bought it from. So um, yeah. it is a tribute to that, of course, uh, this kind of morning show kind of environment that we also have. We have a lot of like, morning shows on board and things like that. And I think it ties in really, really well into kind of a trade update as well. Um, look, I, I, I love working with you. I think you, you do such a great asset to the business um, since you came into this role. And I really wanted to kind of just talk to you and show the trade and introduce the trade, you know, to who you are and, um, and a couple of things like that. Ask some fun questions great. and a little bit of insight into what's kind of happening. Uh, great. Particularly in the last few weeks, it's been so busy. I know. It's been yeah. amazing. It's been, it's been a great amazing. week. I know. And so the the best part of what this role brings um, and Mark included in this is the team itself. So I feel as though we were such a strong team to begin with and the amount of expertise and passion and quite frankly, in the last couple of years, determination that the teams had has made it such a joy to come to work every day. And one of the things I've really enjoyed um, coming into this role is we're in a new landscape. So we haven't been sailing for quite some time. The, the landscape has changed. I've really been encouraging the team to, to test and learn and to think differently. And I think it's brought out just so much creativity and so many new ways to solve some of the, the new issues that we have. And um, it's really allowed the team to as a collective invest and move this business back into the positive. So that makes it all worthwhile for me because it's not just, it's not just this role that's going to, to get us over the line. It's, it's everybody working hard. We're a lean and mean team and um, we all know what we need to do. And just the enthusiasm of the last couple of weeks in particular has just been palpable. Um, it's just, it's yeah. just been incredible. Um, yeah, you can see, you can see it in our bookings too, which is, which is the best measure of success. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's a real, there's this real buzz and I know um, we've seen it out on the road with our amazing trade partners yeah. and of course internally as well. There's this really buzz about um, everything that's happening and um, yeah. everything that's going on, which kind of like, you know, leads me to kind of the first kind of thing. We've had a lot happen in the last kind of few weeks, you know, we've had, yes you know, the green light announcements as well, yes. the fact that we were coming obviously um, in October. Um, but as part of that as well, we've, you know, which is really created that buzz that you're talking about, which is really yeah. exciting. But we've also launched Wild well, mm. Trans-Pacific Cruise, which we um, mm. we dropped in on um, on Monday. Yeah. And, you know, what what is something that you've been working incredibly hard behind the scenes to, yeah. to get this live and to have a preview for the trade, which we're able to do on the Friday, 
Yes. Now, what's the one thing that you're looking forward to the most about Carnival Splendor, Trans-Pacific and arriving uh, back home? It's just, it just seems surreal at this point. And the thing that's most exciting um, in, about the Trans-Pacific cruise, but in general, is that this is going to be Splendor's first time back into Sydney in two years. So she is going to be fresh. She is going to be, um, as we say, ship shape. Um, she will have had time in Alaska um, to be able to get her sea legs on with a very um, seasoned crew with, you know, all the operational bells and whistles to be ready to, you know, go into play when we have our guests here in Australia. And you know what? With all the time that we've had, we're ready. Like, I feel like we're really ready. The guests are ready. Um, I can also tell you that we, when the government protocols um, came, um, came good, I should say, with the government, um, we saw bookings go through the roof for Q4 of this year. So it means that people aren't waiting. They want to sail now. So um, we're super excited. But the, the ship is, you know, it, it's going to have hopefully some of the favorite crew members that we know and love. Um, we're all going to be there watching her come through the heads on September 30th. She has an incredible Trans-Pacific cruise, which, by the way, having only released the other day, um, a good portion of it is selling out. So I was so I'm so happy to see that because um, you just don't know how these things are going to go. It's quite a long trip. Can people take this amount of time? Um, it's definitely the value of all values in terms of a trip. But um, it's going to she's going from Seattle to Hawaii to Fiji and then here to Sydney. So we are going to be welcoming her with open arms and can cannot wait. It's just it's so exciting to have that in the books. It is it's incredibly exciting. And as you mentioned before, touched on such an amazing itinerary. You know, some people yeah. some people love sea days. I personally love sea days because I get to relax and enjoy myself. But what's really unique and great about this is the some of the itineraries that we're going through Hawaii, you know, um, Honolulu, um, you know, we've got Kona, Hilo and Maui. We've got extended stays in both Honolulu. We're there until 11 p.m. at night time. So you can go and enjoy yourself, have dinner. And the same, the same with Maui. Like Maui was one of my favorite islands. Yeah, it's a beautiful of, place. Of Hawaiian island groups. Yeah, so have that yeah. extended stay is yeah. really exciting. Yeah. Have time for an on on onshore hula lesson. Like yeah. you can really, <laughs> you can really get the most of it. But Hawaii is one of my favorite places. I have to say. So to be able to go to four destinations in Hawaii in one trip is is a bucket list. A bucket yeah. list opportunity. You don't get a chance to do that, and. Each island is quite different in what they offer, too. So um, it's really going to be brand new each island that you go to. So and then Fiji is a whole nother tropical experience in itself. Yeah. So uh, it, it's just going to it's a once in a lifetime trip. It's a once in a lifetime yeah. trip. It is. I know, and it's going to be incredibly exciting. Yeah. So which is awesome to see. So so in saying that, though, like um, your so I, 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 love, I love the sea days, I said as well. What's one of your favorite activities to do on board? Oh my gosh. So I have, I've taken the fun type quiz and I am an early bird. So one of my favorite things to do is actually to get up early and to just have that coffee on the deck in the morning when there's just a little bit of stillness, but it's very quickly followed by um, a lunchtime at Guy's Burger. And um, I love the shows. I love the shows. My, my son and I have been on a few times. We, I love seeing the shows. The, the entertainment is top notch. I will, will, won't miss any of it. It just, it just really gives me that, that feeling that I'm out um, possibly, you know, doing, seeing a Broadway show. It's, it's something really special. So I enjoy, I enjoy that as well. Um, there's, there's definitely, I go early to the alchemy bar, but um, I definitely make a stop at the alchemy bar before um, I turn in. Oh, but, yeah. So it's just, there's so much to choose from, but I, from a food perspective, I seriously can't wait for a guy's burger. Like I'm just, I'm dreaming oh, of it right oh, now. Tell me about that. Like, I know. Yeah, probably the number one thing is to sink my teeth into original oh. ring of burger. Oh, I, can't oh my. They, I don't know what they, they it's, it's the cheese is special, the bun. I love being able to put on my own toppings. Like there's just something about it that it, you just can't, you can't get that anywhere. Yeah. No, Definitely not no, in that, Sydney. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's fair enough. Um, look, I, the other interesting thing, as soon as we started cruising again, I'm sure you probably were of this, within the first month or three months, we actually 
um, people consumed about two hundred and seventy five thousand guys burgers, um, <laughs> which is which just I'm shows you that whole fleet must have been back by then. So um, that's uh, that's really really cool um, and great to be able to see. Uh, look, that's one of the great things about the all inclusiveness that Carnival offers, you know. And and I was lucky enough to watch uh, Epic Rock with you and Dylan. Um, yeah, you know, like in 2019, and I knew you were fist fist bumping at the oh, end. It's oh, just music. you just show lounge. it's so fun. You just feel like you're a part of it, and it's so professional. It just is. And I also got to go behind the scenes um, in one of the cruises I went on. It, it is a full Broadway production. The costume changes yeah. and the you know the makeup and the just the all the um, accessories that they need and the lighting. Like it's it's a full production. And I just. I was so impressed and I just love going to see those. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, okay, so this next question I love because it's um it's now say it's two o'clock, it's a nice sunny sea day. We're around Lido Deck. We've got two very iconic bars, one being Red Frog Rum Bar and mm. one being Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. Yeah. Um, Red Frog Rum Bar, of course, specialises in rums and Caribbean beers and Blue Iguana Tequila Bar specialises in um, tequila and Mexican beers. And it's about this, are you team red or are you team blue? So where will we find you? You know what? And it may be indicative from the colour I'm wearing. I am team blue. <laughs> I, uh, I cannot go past a... Um, margarita um from the cantina i just there's nothing better on a sunny day than to have a margarita i have to have um salt on it i, I must have that a lot of limes a lot of fresh limes and then just an endless uh, array of corn chips <laughs> so um it just and uh yeah it just I, I absolutely yeah that's my that is hands down my favorite i'm a huge mexican food fan so um it kind of goes along with that but and i'm not afraid of a corona either because yeah. um there's something i don't know just like the corona I, i'm not a much of a beer lover but there's something i can always have a corona always yeah oh, that's that's yeah. fantastic to hear now um what ship's coming to brisbane Oh, you're tricky, Mark. <laughs> you're tricky. You're trying to get it out of me. I would love to be able to tell you what um, the ship is. I can tell you a few things. So I can tell you that um, there is a ship coming to Brisbane. I can tell you that is going to be a um, not a brand new, but a refurbished new uh, ship. It is going to be bigger than Spirit. It is going to be very different than Splendor. Because the idea is that just because um, you're living in Sydney, it shouldn't prevent you from going to Brisbane and experiencing our product in a different way. So there's going to, we're pushing hard for it to have different activities, different food options, and uh, just different, a different, still a fun vibe, but just a different feel because um, there's no reason why um, a Brisbaneite can't come to Sydney, a Sydney cider can't go to Brisbane. And so we want to make it a unique experience from both locations. So we're working on it diligently in the background. I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to share some news in the next few months. Um, but it is it's super exciting and it just is going to essentially cement the idea that we or the i guess the fact and that we're have, we're a two ship market here yeah. and um it's we need it brisbane is is aching for uh carnival fun to be home ported um we're gonna make it happen and i will make it happen as soon as i possibly can these things take time but yes. i'll be sure to keep mark i'll be sure to keep everyone posted <laughs> But um, especially you first, but um, we'll start to reveal little little pieces of it as we can. But and like I said, it should be in a couple of months, but super exciting and um, just really looking forward, to, really looking forward to it because we're going to be able to claim it as our own. It wouldn't have been in any other market except for this one. So it's it's something quite unique. I know. I thought I'd just try and trick you up a little bit there, but look, that's, that's the number one thing we get asked, you know. And it's, I, I've it's been known really to cool spill the beans on things, so that was a good <laughs> effort, yes. No, thank you, Sarah. Well, well answered and very pleased yes. well. So thank you so much. Now, you touched on a little bit before, you touched on um, the, your fun type, basically. So, yes. And you mentioned that you were an early bird, so that's part A of my question, kind of answered. Yes. But, um, you know, this was a really kind of cool concept that you basically – you, you you brought up and you um, you brought into the business and and it is I think it's a great idea and I just want you to maybe explain a little bit about you know what is what is fun type campaign mm. and also why is it important? Yeah, I'd love to. So the fun type all started with us trying to understand how we could 
um, actually how we could understand our guests better. Yeah. So we're always trying to make sure we don't just know your name. We don't just know your email address. Like what are your, what are your um, likes? What are your dislikes? What, what's your feedback? So by virtue of understanding what people's fun type is, you'll be able to get more communication from us that is tailored to your um, desires, needs, and activity-based fun. So that was the really the, the crux of it, because we don't want you to, um, we, we want to make, we want to take the hard work out, because yeah. just because your husband likes one thing and you like another thing, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy things together or enjoy things separately. We have an answer for everyone. And so it was really just to help people navigate all of the activities and all of the fun that we have, because we have so much of it that sometimes it can be overwhelming. Sometimes people are just like, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. I'm not sure what to do. So we're helping spell that out. We're helping really um, answer those questions for you so you can maximize the time that you have on our ships and on shore for that matter to be able to really fulfill it with everything that you wanted to do. So that was the crux of it. But the other thing is, is that the more we can communicate to you with communication you want to hear, the, the better the relationship. We don't want to send information that isn't relative to what you're interested in. So um, it's to be more efficient as, as a communications business and um, just to make sure our business is as sharp as it can be. And also just to highlight all the fun things that we have, because sometimes some of the things that we have go overlooked because yeah. it get they get buried underneath some of the more popular things. But um, everyone has a type. Um, we've definitely proven that. Uh, we know on our team, Mark, that there is a almost even distribution across the six fun types, which is so interesting. Action and packer. Action <laughs> packet, yeah. We have yeah. a lot of splash makers, which is not yeah. a surprise. And it also helps us for future planning to understand, do we have enough of a balance for all of our guests. So should we be looking at more things because we have so many action packers, do we have enough activities or, you know, dining options or things that answer to those action packers? So it helps us from an innovation and um, future planning perspective as well, which I think is always important to think forward, not just go on, you know, past guests, but what we can offer in the future, which had a little bit to do with some of the ideas that we've submitted to the new ship of yeah. um, some action packing things that we want to make sure that we offer because that was that was one that is coming out strong when we've um, surveyed people. So yeah, it's super exciting, but it's just really for us to get to know our guests better because um, we we love um, knowing our guests. We love developing that that relationship and that two way conversation. Yes, one hundred percent. And if you yeah. wanted to, if our guests, if our agents, of course, we've created the the fun type quiz, which is available yeah. at occl.com.au. If they click on that, they can actually go through the list and they can do what, see what their fun type is. But it's also a really engaging activity to sit with your guest and mm. get a better understanding of what makes them tick. There's only a handful of questions and it yeah. gives you a little logo as what you are. So it's a really kind of great. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great tool for the trade because sometimes, and I was with agents yesterday um, when I was on the road and there are some people that are sitting there not quite sure which way they should go. So if we can... Um, share what our activities are, then, you know, nicely packaged in a fun type, it'll help that it'll, it'll be a great selling tool. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So October marks our 10th birthday, oh, right? I um, know. And, and the day we, and the, the kind of month that we're arriving back into, into Australia when Splenda arrives back from her Trans Pacific cruise. So what are you most looking forward to about the arrival? I am most looking forward to, I guess I'm picturing in my head there being people at the at the terminal, like waiting for her to come in. There is just going to be fanfare. There might be tears from some people, yeah, totally. um, but there's just going to be such. A, it's going to be such a joyous occasion. And even though we're not going to be the first cruise that comes back, I I think it's still okay because the 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 passionate loyalists of Carnival are going to be including you know us included are going it, to, it's just going to be a surreal experience. It's been two years mm -hmm. and it just seems, it, it's so overdue. It's, there's just to see her come in, to see the joy on people's faces, to have even, you know, the guests with their bags in tow. It, it, it's going to be a feeling that is, that I, I, I know is no one's going to forget. It's, it's going to be, it's, it's, a, it's a restart. We're starting yeah. over. We're starting over again. And the thing that excites me a lot is that, 
even though Splendor was in this market um, back in 2019, she only had a few cruises. So yeah. for the most part, she's a new ship to a lot of people. So to us, we've, you know, we talk about it in Splendor, Splendor, but to so many people, it's a, it's a brand new ship that has so much to offer and so many guests yet to entertain. So yeah. that's what I'm also excited about. It's, um, it's, it's not an old favorite. It's a, it's a new, exciting experience that you can get behind. But there's another exciting thing, Mark, that I want to tell you is that um, our first cruise back, which right now is slated for October 5th, might not be our first cruise back. Wow. So, yeah. That. Yeah, so <laughs> we've kind of, we, yeah. So we, um, we actually have um, working really hard with the schedule and the first cruise back, we're trying to be a few days before that. So as soon as we know more detail, um, you'll, you'll be the first to know, but um, we're right now planning for it to be on October 2nd. So I, I, it'll be a three day cruise. It'll be out on the beautiful, um, beautiful waters. Um, there'll be no destination, but it'll just be a great way to to start off our season and to, to start off our journeys. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. So more to come on that. But we're trying to because we're seeing such success with our sailings. We we kind of figured we needed to add another one. So um, so you if you want to get on that first first cruise, um, more details to come. Yeah. Okay, there you go. What a great teaser there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, a nice <laughs> little bit of a snippet to throw in there. So thank you great. so much. Now, um, just as we finish up, the um, you know, what was really great is we had our um our it's about our 50th birthday, which is the 50th birthday of Carnival since we first started. Um, we mentioned this in the last uh webinar we did. Uh, we've had a lot of great activities and some really kind of cool things mm. that happened. Um, this is a photo of our team at a Sydney event celebrating mm. uh, for the first time together in quite a in quite a long time, we all got together and it was a really emotional and great day to be able to be a part of. Um, I, I want to share a little bit, a, a little video really quickly. But before I do, I just want to thank you so much, Cara, for joining us today. Thank you for taking the time out of your incredibly busy schedule. Not only are you, you um, looking after Australia, but you're constantly talking to Miami. So the time zones are, are, are very long days for you. So I appreciate everything you do for us and particularly for the trade as well. So I just yeah. want to thank you so much um, for joining us. Today. Mark, thank you so much. And I just want to thank you for, for being so stellar at what you do. Like we, we could not get to the, the places that we've got to with the trade or otherwise without your passion for Brisbane and in general for the business. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Look, it's, it's very easy when I've got such an amazing team that supports um, our it's, trade. It's partners. the team. Yeah. That's what I say. It's the team. It's, the it's team. how we gel. It's perfect. Exactly. Okay. Great. Now, before we, so I just, as I mentioned before, really great, um, really great 50th birthday. We did a little, um, a reel that kind of really shows you what Carnival's done over the last, um, the last 50 years. So we'll throw to that video. It's our 50th birthday. Can you believe it? And we're so happy to be celebrating with you. Because it's been 50 years of the funnest moments anyone could ever wish for. 50 years of memories that will surely last a lifetime. 50 years of water slides and sea breezes. 50 years of excursions, adventures, and new experiences. 50 years, what an amazing sight to see. 50 years of fun. Thank you to everyone who's joined us over the years. Whether you're a seasoned cruise pro who's collected all the ship pins, or you've just sailed for the first time this year, it all started with one dream, to make cruising a vacation that was accessible to all. From the moment our first ship set sail, it wasn't guest and crew, it was just one big fun carnival family. As our fleet grew, the carnival family grew. Year after year, ship after ship. Yes, we've celebrated milestones before, but now we're celebrating the biggest one to date, our 50th birthday. And we're so grateful to be celebrating this milestone with you. The people who bring the fun, the smiles, the laughs, the joy. That special spirit that makes Carnival unlike any other cruise line or vacation anywhere. Something unmistakably unique happens when you're on a Carnival cruise. You become the most fun version of yourself. Yes, it's going to be a birthday for the ages. 
and you, and you, and you, and all of you are the guests of honor. See you on board. Carnival. Choose fun. Okay, that was our 50th birthday wrap up, which is incredibly exciting and also great to have Cara join us. Um, look, we'll just kind of a couple more things we'll kind of run through. As part of the 50th birthday, we did have a great ship meetup. Uh, we had seven ships meet up in just off the coast of Cozumel in um, Western Caribbean. And that's a great photo of the seven ships. The, the seventh one's just hidden behind uh, Carnival Glory at the back there. Um, but we had some great ships there as well Mardi Gras Breeze, Ecstasy Glory, Carnival Pride. Carnival Sunrise and Carnival Vista, they all met together in the Western Caribbean. That was on the 7th of March. And then on the, the 9th of March, we also had a little ship meet up in the Bahamas where Conquest, Conquest, Freedom, Legend, Liberty, Spirit, our beautiful spirit girl, and Sunshine all met together um, to do a ship celebration there as well. And then finally, we wouldn't want to leave the West Coast out. We had a fantastic meetup with um, Carnival Miracle and Carnival Panorama, our two West Coast based ships. And I know that we had some agents on board there, which was um, great to be able to see um, what they did and what they checked out. Now, Cara mentioned before the green light. Um, very, very, very great news, obviously, the green light to fund. Um, look, this means that obviously bookings have started to ramp up. I know inquiry is really busy at the moment. So if you are taking inquiry, if you are trying to apply those FCCs, those future cruise credits to your guests, make the booking, deposit on it. You can add them, you know, a week or two later. Don't forget as well. You can call up the course and add a couple at a time um, just to try and make yourself as streamlined as possible. Um, but feel free to reach out to your FC, your um, all your guests with FCCs um, and enhanced onboard credit as well. Now, we've got some great assets available here as well, and they're available at goccl.com.au. Um, we've got assets for the green line and green light if you'd like to share, as well as all of our campaigns. And we also have assets for the Trans Pacific, um, which we spoke about before as well. Um, Splendor arriving. I, I've just this just makes me so happy. So I just push this message as far as much as we possibly can. October it is arriving, and you heard the news before the early part of the pot, uh, of the of the webinar, which is great to be able to see a little bit earlier, which we're really excited about. And of course, it marks our tenth birthday, so we have a lot of exciting things planned for there. But just remember, we arrive in October, and that is um, great news, and we're really looking forward to what that brings, um, in particularly into the end of this year and into next year as well. Okay, now travel advisory. I really want to push this pretty hard again. This is where you'll find your latest and information. Okay, so if you're looking for, um, as Cara mentioned before, the the health and safety is just getting finalised of what that cruising experience looks like. Try not to print documents off. Try to know where to find them. Okay, if you click on travel advisory, and this is at goccl.com.au. You can then um, go in there and it will tell you the information about the cancel cruises, FCCs, and of course, this is where we'll list all the health and safety protocols as they come. Um, it will Things will change uh, as we live with this virus, so it is important to know where to find the latest information and where to go to to be able to check it out. Okay, now, the um, the final thing is, just before we go, we've got a little, little bit of a... a Kind of a giveaway today. You would have seen I'm wearing the um, the, the the exclusive 50th birthday T-shirt that we have uh, we have, and you saw all of our staff with as well. These are one of a kind. They have been printed exclusively for uh, this month and are being basically given directive that we have to get rid of the rest of them. Okay, so we're going to get rid of a whole bunch um, today. So please comment. Okay, what we're going to do is we ask Cara the question: Where will we find you? Um, in uh, at two o'clock on Lido deck, you find me in Red Frog Rum Bar. I'm a bit of a rum fan there, and you find Cara in Blue Iguana Tequila. So I'll be going shouting across, "Hey, Red Frog is much better." So where will you find yourself? So please add comments in the bottom of where you want to, where you would find yourself, uh, which bar you will, and we'll randomly select a whole bunch of giveaways uh, to give away the shirts to. Okay, now finally, we had a little bit of an issue going um, shaking. Look at that, Red Frog, Red Frog, love it. We had a little bit of issue with some of the um, the questions coming through just with um, just with Facebook Live. So we will repost this again. Um, feel free to answer, ask any questions, and we will um, we will answer them as we kind of go in the next kind of few hours. 
Um, but that leads me to the end of this. This is the first episode of Fundrise TV. We've got a lot of really exciting things we're going to start to plan um, that we're going to bring out. And of course, hopefully some more special announcements as uh, time goes on. So please um, join us uh, next month for the next episode of Fundrise uh, TV. Um, big shout out to Cara. Thank you so much for joining us today, being our first ever guest. And we look forward to um, walking with you guys as we return to sailing very, very soon. So on behalf of me and my amazing uh, trade dedicated sales team, thank you guys for everything you are doing. We appreciate it so much. So thank you.